Hi, Sharon Danny here with another two minute tip. This week it's all about hair padding. You may have heard me mention hair padding before, or better known as styling rats. Um, these are hair padding pieces that I've made that I use to shall we say fill out my hair where it's needed because it's much faster and much easier than just about anything else. I'm going to give you a few quick styles uh, to show you just how it can help. Now I have nothing in my hair right now, no back combing, no extensions, no anything. So we'll get started. Now what this hair padding is made of is a product called Canacolon. And it, what it is, is a synthetic fiber that's used for weaving uh, and, uh, you know, for all kinds of braids and stuff for our, our, our black beauties. And I just recently got some and I've made some ropes and a number of other things out of it. I uh, tried something new to see, I used to wrap them in human hair, but I think I can get by with just doing this without the human hair. And it just affords me a whole bunch of other styles that are fast and easy to do. Get me out the door looking great and last all day. Number one on the hit parade is often I wear this one piece in the crown of my hair just to give it the bulk that it needs. But I also put a, a hair padding or styling rat underneath it just to give it the lift that it's needed. Needed. Okay, let me show you. So I got to keep my glasses on for this. Okay, so I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. I'm going to take the hair in front of where I will place the, um, the, the hair piece in the padding and I'll just back comb that at the root. Then I'm going to place the padding in with a bobby pin on one side and then on the other. Then I take the extension and put it in above and clip it in place. And then comb that hair back. Let me just check and see how it's looking. Now if it sneaks out a little bit, what I do is just comb it and place it so. And then I spray accordingly. And that gives me the fullness that I, I need. And then I just go around and you know lift up a little bit here or there and then decide how I'm going to have the front part of my hair, side part, and full part, whatever I'm going to do. So that's one of the uses of uh, this wonderful hair padding. For the second one, I'm going to put my hair up and use this larger uh, bit of padding to make a nice full uh, a bun at around the crown. So let me get that together. I'm simply going to just gather all my hair up and I'm not going to worry about the front for the for this demonstration because that's not what it's about. But you know, just in random pieces however you you like side part center part bangs no bangs all back lots of options okay and I have a, another video on how to do this so then I just grasp the hair like that and put a one of these little clips in here to hold it in place and then I'm going to take this hair padding and with some long bobby pins, I'm going to place it, make sure that you can see me here. Ah, uh, yes, let's get over here a little bit. I'm going to place this up and around. And use the long um, roller pins to install this. So that gives me a nice bit of fullness there uh, it, it, uh, uh, so I can pull my hair down over top. So let me just grab my own hair now, wherever that is. Now 
this is where depending I, I would maybe have to add another extension in just to give me the fullness that I need to cover all of the hair padding or I use a smaller bit of hair padding to accommodate but you get the idea oh there's a bit more hair here and then just smooth this out and grab it and tuck it in underneath and pin it again with a long bobby pin is best then you have to go around and check and like I said I think that I would need uh, because I've just freshly made these an, another another um, extension perhaps to cover that more but you can see let me just get this covered up you can see how easy that is to do now again that's not perfection but you get the idea it gives a, a nice full uh, nice rounded classic bun that is just a classic a timeless look and piece and you can do it with fine thin hair with the addition of uh, one of these wonderful hair paddings okay style number three coming up okay for styling number three uh, I'm going to be using this uh, longer one um, and I'm going to be making what is known as a victory roll or a roll or a French roll done you know the sideways whatever you want to call it so we'll get started with that and again just two long bobby pins and like I think I've said this before you can get these pins let me see if I can do this right they're long what they're called roller pins they don't have any uh, bumps on them they're made to hold rollers in your hair but the thing is they hold your hair fantastic they hold uh, I find that one of these equals five or six bobby pins when you're pinning your hair up so that's so all I'm going to use is one on each side with this so let me turn around for you and make sure that I'm right in the camera okay so I've got my hair all down and I'm going to place this at the nape of my neck like so going up around the curve one long bobby pin in underneath on this side and one in whoops wait a minute must have hit a knot there in the pattern okay so let me take a look at that okay so you get the gist of where that sits okay so now what I'm going to do and again because my hair is fine and thin I'm going to go around and just slightly back comb or back brush I should say just very lightly uh, because what this does besides helping you have a little bit more volume is it creates moldability with the hair which is always a good thing when you're when you're uh, doing hairstyles and um, it gives you it, oh sorry about that it, it just gives you more moldability and a little bit more um, friendly use so now I'm gonna just comb this back and over like so and I'm going to just tuck this all in now you can um, you can bring this out a little bit more make it down a little bit more whatever whatever you feel like doing so tuck that in and in this case I'm just going to use a regular bobby pin and let's see and make sure that uh, yeah that's uh, that's okay I think am I there just make sure that I'm hiding anything now on the other side it's the same thing just slightly brush over the top when you're doing it when you're going over back combing you don't want to comb all the way through it then I'm going to lift everything and tuck in underneath as well and again 
just a bobby pin for this. Check in the mirror. I think that's, uh, that's close enough. It gives you the idea. Whoops. Yeah, if you're, if you're wearing hair padding like I am, sometimes it might come apart. So it's best just to spray it first to make sure that it's in place and, uh, and cover it up. And then if you want to, if you're going to be uh, out for a long time or doing a lot of dancing or whatever, then take, oh, there I go again, sorry. I don't have a director, but that's what you do in your low budget. You, you take a long bobby pin and put it across and underneath catch the, the padding so that it will stay really well. So, and that's, that's a, again, this is a classic, uh, you know, hairstyle that's been around for a long, long time. And there's varying things that you can do with this. Um, next week, actually, uh, or the week after, depending, I'm going to show you how I've taken some of this canacolon hair, and I'm going to use something similar to this uh, with a braid and a rope, etc., uh, to show you, again, how you can... You can add so much more to your hair when you have thin, fine hair or hair that's unruly. These are ways of hiding it. And if you're transitioning from uh, color, dyed hair to, to gray, this is a spectacular way of revealing the underneath gray hair and tucking in the dyed bits. So it looks like you're transitioning a lot faster maybe than what you are, or at least it gives you a good idea of what you can expect. Anyway, fast easy and oh so chic. We'll see you next time.